everyone and welcome back to my channel. About 30 years ago, a researcher called Dr. Caroline Dweck took a look at the attitudes of failure in students. Her and her team were interested in understanding why certain students were able to bounce back after failing an exam or an assessment, uh, whilst other students were unable to work past that failure. So what her and her team did was to look at thousands of students, and in the end, they coined the term growth mindset and fixed mindset. I'm sure you've heard of the term growth mindset as it's been used a lot recently to describe the type of person that wants to keep on learning, the type of person that has a positive attitude to learning and kind of bettering themselves. So someone with a fixed mindset thinks that their creative ability, their character, and their intelligence is static. So it's not going to change after a certain amount of time. So once they hit 25 or something, they just think this is how I am and I, I can't change. This is just who I am. Whereas someone who has a growth mindset is described as someone who uses failure um, as a learning tool and uses that as a step board in order to grow and in order to stretch their existing abilities. Now, this difference is so stark. This can make such a difference in the way that you perceive yourself, in the way that you go about your day-to-day day -day life, and it's really important that we strive to have a growth mindset and we understand what kind of mindset we actually do have. I was thinking about this myself, and I was thinking, what mindset do I have? Yes, I make the effort to go out of there and learn new things, but when I do fail at things, I do take it quite quite hard and I think in some way I have a fixed mindset um, but in, I think I'm more so inclined towards the growth mindset purely because I do believe that you can change and I feel like I am changing all the time through the efforts that I put into myself. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to nurture a growth mindset, how to develop into a growth mindset and how to become a growth mindset type of person if you feel like you may not be completely already. So firstly it's important to understand how malleable and how plastic the brain is. Now there's this part of neuroscience called neuroplasticity and that's a study of the brain and how it changes um, through time. The brain is not a, an organ or a muscle that just stays the same all your life. Especially during the younger years, you're always learning, but continuously, even past maturity, um, you are carrying on to learn and you can change the ways in which your brain acts through, through how you train it. The brain consists of a number of neurons, which are the brain cells, and they communicate to each other, and they're always communicating and transmitting messages to each other. That transmission has been shown in research a lot, not just recently, but for the past couple of decades, that those transmissions can change through a learned response. So if you teach your brain to do something differently, it can change. So for those that think, I am 25 years old, I've done it this way for the rest of my, but the whole of my life, I can't change. That is completely incorrect. Your brain is malleable, it is plastic, it can change the, just as much as you teach it. When you build a habit, what you are doing is you are changing those connections. What you do when you build habits is you are actually forming new neural networks. Um, and so over time, when you repeatedly do that thing that you want to do, for example, let's just say waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning, first, yes, it'll be tough because it, your brain isn't used to it. It isn't a process that your brain is used to doing. But over time, you are slowly strengthening those neural connections. There's something called a myelin sheath that covers every single neuron. Over time, that will become strengthened, insulating your your neurons and essentially means that that task becomes second to nature and you've changed your brain just like that nice and easy i mean it is easier said than done um but it can be done i think that's the first and most important thing that you need to remember in order to develop a growth mindset you need to think about how you learn and how it is that you are absorbing information now some of us learn from reading books some learn from listening to podcasts some learn from actually experiencing it you need to identify the method from which you learn and try different methods out i think someone that has a fixed mindset thinks i have to always read a book in order to learn whereas someone else with a growth mindset will think actually I might want to just try this thing out, take the risk, and I'll learn through that process. If I make a mistake, that's absolutely fine. If I, you know, if it succeed, then I've learned from it. You try different methods of learning out, and that's one of the key things for someone that has a growth mindset. You also need to replace the word failing with the words growth. Failure is simply life showing you how to do things right. 
Um, and I truly believe that when you fail at something or when you're unable to complete something, you have or you should be able to learn from that failure. Someone with a growth mindset is able to take failures and reflect on them and understand what happened and how they can improve on that next time and then repeat the task, be persistent, be consistent, be committed and is able to then succeed maybe the next time or maybe the time after that. But failing itself is not a negative thing and I think that's something that's attributed quite a lot in people that have a fixed mindset if they failed and that's that reflection of their ability. Failure does not dictate the way that it always has to be. You can change the outcome. You need to always think about challenges as opportunities. Now a lot of the time we complain about feeling imposter syndrome and I hear this term so many times. I went to a course yesterday and I heard the word imposter syndrome used um, and again I don't think imposter syndrome is necessarily a bad thing. What it means is you're challenging yourself into maybe a a situation where you feel a little bit uncomfortable, you feel a little bit out of your depth, but through that experience you will be able to grow and you will be able to develop and feel more confident. So take any challenge as an opportunity, don't shy away from challenges. And we've all heard this saying, but nothing amazing comes from comfort zones, nothing worthwhile comes from comfort zones. Having a growth mindset is a mindset where you are able to think, right, there's path A and path B, they are paths that I know, they're easy, path C and path D can be a bit more challenging, but I will learn from them. Take those other paths take the risk. I also wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this segment of the video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives whereby it offers thousands of classes for creative and curious people and you can learn something new this year in 2020. Having a growth mindset means that you are a lifelong learner which you're always learning something, you're always applying something, you're always wanting to add some new skill to your life and Skillshare can do exactly that. So they are offering two months free um, of a premium membership, so please do click on the link in my description bar to get two months free premium membership. So unlimited access to all the classes available on the Skillshare platform. You are able to explore your creativity and you can really learn anything from illustration to design to how to be more productive. P please do click on the link down below to join for a two month free premium membership. Even after your subscription has finished, it's less than $10 a month, which is amazing considering how much you pay for a one-to-one -one class. I've been watching a class that helps me manage my to-do list, helps me get a bit more productive um, using my technology that I have in my hand and ways to kind of integrate that system and, and just to get a little bit more efficient in the way that I do things. Um, and I've really been enjoying it so far. I think it's super, super helpful for what I, what I needed to do. Another way to build a growth mindset is to consistently ask for feedback on what it is that you are doing and to take feedback as a constructive criticism rather than something like a personal attack. Let's say you are trying to build an Instagram page or a social media platform, uh, you know, YouTube or something like that. Post a few videos out there, post a few photos out there and ask someone what they think. What do they think about your feed? What do they think about your content? Um, and let them be very honest with you and that is how you are going to grow. They might say to you, well, actually it's not very appealing, the colors aren't so bright, the images isn't so clear, your videos are, you know, the quality isn't that great. Um, and you are able to then take that feedback and use it in order to become better. Essentially what you're doing is you're giving yourself some humility um, and you kind of have to, you know, push your ego down a little bit and stop taking things so personally and always take feedback as an opportunity to become better and as an opportunity to improve on whatever it is that you are doing. I also find that being able to use the word yet or not yet um, as kind of a, a way to show that you ha you can't do this thing now, but you will be able to do it later, is a great way of really wiring your brain into thinking that actually I can do this but I can't, I, I can't do it right now, but I will be able to do it in the future. Use it a lot more, and trust me, it really does help, and it really gives you a sense of, I, I can achieve this, I just haven't been able to do it at the moment, due to whatever reasons it is, but you are able to achieve it once you put your mind to it. And again, that shows that growth mindset where you are not just stuck with the abilities that you have today you can learn how to horse ride in six months. You can learn how to speak a language in three months. You can learn how to, I don't know, ride a bike or go swimming or whatever it is that you want to learn how to do. If you can't do it today, that's absolutely fine. You can't do it yet. You will be able to do it. 
when you put the effort in, <laughs> which is a whole different story. But having that mindset is more than enough to be able to at least steer you towards the right direction. And this is probably one of my most important aspects of having a growth mindset is learning from others. So actually just observing others and learning from the mistakes of other people. Now I do this do this in a number of different ways. Firstly, I read a lot of books, so self-help books or books from people, biographies or autobiographies from people that have done amazing things before me or are doing them right now. I learn from them and I learn from their mistakes. I listen to a lot of podcasts, um, a lot of podcasts where people talk about their entrepreneurship or their experiences building a business or whatever it is that they've done I love listening to them because I think it's so inspiring to hear the stories of other people um, there's a couple that I I can recommend there's um how I built this by NPR I absolutely love it and there's also another one called I think it's called how I fail or how you failed or something um, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave the links for it down below again that podcast interviews a number of different people and um, finds out where they failed in life and how they bounce back from those failures and just really learning from people who you feel like are doing what you want to do or are being successful not necessarily in your field but just in general in life to pick up what habits they are doing um, and this can be to do with organization to do with productivity to do with the lifestyle to do with just just anything food diet whatever it is that you feel like you want to grow um, and improve on take a look at what they're doing and it's absolutely fine to be inspired by someone who you feel like is doing what you want to do um, in, a, in a better way than you are currently doing it let me know the changes that you want to make in order to develop and grow your mind and change the way that you think into a growth mindset um, and I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon bye